Fresh and Famous Radio. We're back. Just got off the air with Puppy Moet, one of the realest rappers in the Southern California industry right now. Make sure you follow him on Twitter.com backslash Puppy is Moet. That's P-U-P-P-Y-I-S-M-O-E-T. All right. And I actually seen Fast Five on Friday. And just to tell you, it, it's make, it makes Takers look like Barney, the movie Takers. It, it makes them look like Barney. They actually, you know, making a lot of movies this summer. They're making a lot of good movies. Transformers, The Hangover 2. So, Jail's looking for a committed date. So, we got to make it happen. I'm telling you, like, I'm worth it. <laughs> Definitely. Also, I want to give a big shout out to uh, Keisha McKnight and her brother for listening to my radio show and everything, you know, since day one. So, you already know I to shout out my baby. Let's make it happen. Fresh and Famous Radio only on FreshandFamous.com. About to interview Dizzy D. Flashy right now. Fresh and Tune Famous in. Radio. <laughs> Dizzy D, what's the deal, man? Same old same. Oh, man, that's what it is. That's what it is. Long time no talk, man. Last time we talked was last year, and you have a daughter now, man. Congratulations, dog. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. <laughs> How does it feel, man? How's, is she a lot? Is she a lot to deal with right now? Nah, she's actually a good baby, real. Chill. Definitely. <laughs> it's a blessing, though, man. I really I appreciate it. Definitely, definitely. What's her name? Jaden. Jaden. Shout out to Jaden. Jaden Wright. Definitely. We love it, man. We love it. Fresh and Famous Radio, Dizzy D Flashy again. Man, we, you got a lot going on, dog. I mean, like I said, last time we talked, you know, you, you came out with a mixtape with Hip Hop Needs, and now you're blasting, like, you know, Legendary and, you know, all these other mixtapes and everything like that, man. So, what you got What you got cooking up for um for 2011? Um, actually, right now, I'm working on my album. I'm working on an album. Um, I'm working on a new mixtape that I'm about to get ready to drop. It's called Soul Searching. Um, I'm doing a lot of shows. I'm still doing music videos. I'm really just trying to continuously build my fan base, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to spread my message to the world. So that's basically what I'm on in 2011, getting a bigger fan base and just expanding my music more than what it's ever been. Love Jones Sunday. Um... Right now, Love Jones Sunday has to be my favorite show that I'm doing right now because, you know, people don't come to judge off what I'm wearing or, you know, the way I look or any of that kind of nonsense. They come to hear what I to say. They want to hear a message. They want to hear, what is this dude talking about? Right. And that's what I'm about. You know, in my music, I really talk about life. The fact that I could really touch people at Love Jones Sunday is by far my favorite show to perform at. Definitely, man. Love Jones Sunday. We can't wait for that, dog. We, you gotta, you gotta get like, you have to get somebody to like video record it, man, so we can check it out. See what happened. No doubt. <laughs> Definitely. Dizzy D flashing on Fresh and Famous Radio, man. Um, go ahead and give out your shout outs. You know what I'm saying? Let us know where we can hit you up at for our information and etc. Man. Man, shout out to my Flashy Ink family. T family, um, anybody that's with the movement, the right road, um, everybody in Vegas, all my fans, I appreciate everybody who supported me. Um, I want to give a big shout out to my new family, my beautiful daughter. Um, everybody, just appreciate all the love. Y'all can follow me on Twitter at Dizzy D Flashy, MySpace.com slash Dizzy Right, or you can go to Facebook and type in Dizzy Right. I'm all over the internet. Y'all can look me up, Dizzy D Flash. You just, you know, search my name and listen to some of the music. A lot of people will be impressed. Definitely. Don't go off the image because the image is not suitable for everybody. Go off of what I'm saying because I'm really trying to, you know, touch people. Definitely, definitely. Dizzy D on Fresh Your Famous Radio, man. Hey, coming all the way from Vegas, dog. I mean, you know, I, I got to get it out there, man. And I heard, I don't know if this is true. I, I think it was kind of a joke, man. But I heard that, uh... <laughs> The prison in, in Vegas is like, they have like golden bars and like casinos in there. Is that true? Or is it just a joke? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I ain't never been there. <laughs> I ain't never, definitely, never definitely. been to the jail, so I wouldn't know. But definitely. you know, I can ask around. <laughs> <laughs> we get it in, man. Our show is um, about tattoos, dog. So what can you say about the people? I mean, you're, you're tatted yourself. You know what I'm saying? I try to get a few or whatever, but, you know, they're painful. But what can you say about the dudes who are just covered up, you know what I'm saying, and, and the people who want to get tattoos? Um, think before you ink. Think before I'm you ink. My little brothers and my family and my friends all the time, you know. It looks cool. It looks like the thing to do. Mm -hmm. You know, in a couple of years, you don't want to regret it. Think before you ink. 
if the stuff that you're gonna be that you're gonna be able to accept in four years that you're gonna be able to look at and feel comfortable with don't just get tired of because it seems like the right thing to do right now it's not for everybody you know I got tatted all the way up because these are my memories this is what I want to stick with me for the rest of my life and I'm comfortable with it being on my skin so I just to everybody out there to all the kids that's out there and all the teens or the adults or whatever who just getting all tatted up just because it looks cool don't do it (laughs) yeah or you ink definitely think before you ink you already heard it from the man all the way from Vegas Busy be flashy on his way up, man. This you know, is one of those songs where I act like a cocky ass bitch. Yeah, that's how it is. Fuck y'all, nigga. Fuck the nigga.